I weave to bring order to my thoughts, to converge with the realm beyond our seeing eye, and to bring past into present and present into future. I weave because it makes washing the dishes more enjoyable, the diaper changing more delightful, and the spice rack alphabetizing more meaningful. What? You don't alphabetize? When I start my day weaving, I bounce when I walk, sing as I talk, and smile with everything. Weaving Chilkat is like breathing with the universal consciousness. All is well in the world when I'm weaving. I come to my loom and close my eyes. I give thanks for the women who helped me learn, for Jenny, the last master Chilkat weaver who taught my mother. I give thanks for my hands and for the time and space to weave. I sit with this gratitude for some time and smile as I remove the embroidered shawl protecting my weaving from dust. I place my hands into the warp before finding my weft strands and silently ask Jenny and previous weavers to help guide my hands today. I weave on wooden looms my father cut and sanded, fashioned after Jenny's looms. The header board runs horizontal to the ground and my warp hangs vertically loose. My warp is thigh spun from merino wool and finely split yellow cedar bark. This spinning combination is rough on my hands, yet offers enough structure so I may shape eyes, U-forms, ovoids, and more into my weavings. The cedar bark also keeps the moths away. I don't want to spend a year making something to let moths eat it. My fine weaver strands of merino wool come in traditional black, natural white, and blue and yellow for accent colors. Some days I'm surprised to spend three hours at the loom and manage only to get my braids set to start shaping eyes. Other days I fly across U-forms and circles. When my fingers forget how to move through the warp, I throw up my arms and I clear my mind saying, okay, mama, Jenny, I need your help. I exhale and place my hands back in the warp. Every time, it's as though they were here, working right beside me. That's what art means. It means our teachers don't die. It means the spirit of all things live on in us, in our art. We have a responsibility to honor and carry on the teachings and keep creating, to share our version of spirit with others, so that when we've passed, we've left the world more beautiful through our weavings and through a joyful spirit. Lily Hope, Wushkin Dain Da At Yuchat Do Asak, Yeh Nachatsati, Duck Dain Tan Ayachat. My clinket name is Wushkin Dain Da At. I am Raven Duck Dain Tan from the Snail House. I'm a Chilkat weaver living in Juneau, Alaska. <laughs>